college educated, high IQ individuals, doctors, lawyers, some scientists that are friends of my dad, they think the way to deadwall this is to stay home for a long period of time. But yeah. everyone needs to stay home, not state by state, because it's just going to be a rolling roller coaster domino effect. One state's going to have a hot spot, other states are going to be like, eh, it's there, it's not here. Then there'll be another hot spot, another, and another, and another. We need to get our shit together. We need to get our it's agreed. How um, how has this been affecting you um, financially and just um, overall emotionally too? Um, to be honest, I'm pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty isolated all the time anyway. Yeah. Either sitting in my apartment in the city or I'm out in the woods or out on the beach or out in the mountain shooting photos for days at a time by myself. So I'm used to being alone. It's not a big deal to me. That doesn't bother me. And I can be creative, even though it's not, my head's in a different place, so I'm not really feeling being so creative. But that part hasn't really bothered me. I'm okay with isolation. That's not a big deal. I like being alone. Um, financially, thank God I've been doing okay in my career, and people have been supporting my art. So that's been great. And I've had a couple of really great clients that have stepped up in the last, actually, two weeks and said they're buying some pieces. And, uh, nice really want to support me so it, it's been really great I, and i have to thank them they've been really great so um, i'm blessed and i'm lucky um because i have a lot of friends that are not so lucky like yeah a lot of friends, my brother a lot of people have been furloughed or have lost their jobs and you know i have some friends that have had high paying jobs that have six thousand dollar a month apartments that they don't know what they're gonna do they don't have you know four four to six months saved in the bank so they're like, well, I'm good for this month, but I don't know what I'm going to do in a month or two. I got to eat. I got to pay my cell phone. I got to pay my car. So it's uh, troublesome. Yeah. It's worrisome. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. It's a, it's a really strange time. It's a really strange time. Again, why I think we should all stay home. Because if, look, if we all stayed home, let's call it 45 days. This virus would cycle through. Everyone who's sick would be sick. Mm -hmm. they, whoever got contagious from those people would be sick, and they would be that would be it. It would run its course. But it wouldn't. you wouldn't be able to infect anyone else. So it's either we suffer now, short term, or we keep putting Band-Aids on these bullet wounds little by little. Look, Florida just instated a stay-home act yesterday. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, how fucking stupid can you be? Did you see the spring breakers? Yeah. How outrageous is that? These fucking kids. Unbelievable. The parents should be hung. It's ridiculous. Like, come on. Get it together, man. I mean, so selfish. It's... Stupid. It's just stupid. Yeah. Like, I, I think it's dumb, but I also... I just think kids are kids, man. They're dumb. <laughs> You know, like at that age, like I just yeah. think, yeah. And if I was 17, 18, 19, 20, whatever, going to spring break, my dad would have been like, get your ass home. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I don't know whose parents are these people. They need to be more responsible as a parent. You know, I yeah. actually have a friend of mine that I've known for 30 years. We've been friends for 30 years and I've been trying to get in touch with him, trying to get in touch with him. Finally, he called me back. He's like, hey, what's up? I'm like, what do you mean? What's up? He's like, I'm just coming home from work. I'm like, what do you mean work? You're a teacher. He was a trainer and became a teacher. I'm like, well, the schools are closed. He's like, no, they're not. I'm like, yes, they are. No. He's like, well, I went in to make extra money to help the kids. I'm like, all right, where are your kids? He's like, my kids are playing in the neighborhood with their friends. I can't take it anymore. They're driving me crazy in the house. I had to let them out. I'm oh, like, my gosh. You? That's so irresponsible. So then he goes on and talking. We're talking about the market and the real estate market and everything's falling apart. He's like, I I'm shorting the market, so I hope it keeps going up and down. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? So you're worried about making money. Your kids are running in the street. You know what I said? I said, have a good life. Take care. Good luck. He said, what are you talking about? I said, I'm t good luck, dude. And we hung up. Ten minutes later, he's like, dude, relax. Go smoke a doob. Everything's going to be fine. I said, you know what? I told you. Good luck. Lose my number. And deleted them from Facebook. Deleted them from Instagram. That's it. I got no time for stupid people anymore. This is too serious. Oof. That's, uh... That's you know, intense. Listen, I, have, I know people personally that have died. It is yeah. not a fucking joke. And, you know, people can have their opinions. People can, whatever. I'm telling you from my, from, from my world, what I'm seeing. Do, um, 
what are you doing to to keep positive? And no, no, I know, I know. But like, what are you doing to lift your spirits now? I'm just a realist. Yeah. nature we abuse animals we stick them in cages in a market they're completely stressed out they're mixed with other species from other parts of the world or the continent they're all on top of each other stressed out of course there's going to be viruses that are spread <laughs> of course so this is our own fault listen this is also us you know this is nature showing us how fast it can get rid of us yeah we respect nature well, that's what we we need to stop abusing nature and get back in balance with it. But it, it could be a lot worse than this. It's it's a reminder also of how um, fragile everything is. You oh, know, Lord. like our whole systems are 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 totally fragile. Humans are so we're so arrogant. We think we're so smart. We're all a bunch of dumb chimps. We're all a bunch of dumb monkeys running around that want to be loved. That want to be together. We want to be cool. Blah blah blah. We're a bunch of dumb monkeys. Right? We need to get it together. We not, need to start having humanity. We need to start being smart. We need to get it together. We really do. We're just selfish beings, and it just needs to stop. And, I'm, and I, you know, I'm hopeful that I've heard from a lot of friends and a lot of youth that they're, you know, this is really changing them in the way that, yeah. you know, if they get through this, they're going to make changes in their lives, which are very positive. But... I think the majority of people are going to go back to the same old, same old, go back to work, you know, go back to their wants, their needs, their, you know, and like, what are we really working for? I want to know what we're really working for. You know, we go to work, we get up, we want this, we make money, we want more money, we want the new cell phone, we want the better car, we want the better surfboard, we want this. For what? What are we doing as a collective? What are we doing? Well, Where do we go? What are we doing? Well, I think... <laughs> You know, for some of us, like I'm, I'm on the hamster wheel in some ways, but it's fine to be on the hamster you, you know, wheel. hamster wheel for what? But that's that's a big question, right? Like that is a big question, and I think it's not so simple to answer. Probably, I mean, for me, like I like to achieve things, and so I get great satisfaction out of doing a great, a good job with my whatever I do, and. That's great. And that, I think, um, for a lot of people, I would even say in, like, uh, finance, you know, who make a lot of money and could retire any time they want, they keep doing it because it's not just because of power and all those other seductive things, but it's also because they want to achieve. And the next thing has to be bigger and bigger, you know, and that's, like, man's kind of ambition, in many ways, and we all have that and innately. We, we try to build or perfect, and I think we've sometimes made a mix-up in society where building bigger is better instead of perfecting, and, and I know you're a great uh, student of Asian and Japanese culture and martial arts where it's all about perfecting instead of making bigger or grander. But it's also about balance. Yeah. So achieving is great. And striving for perfection is great in balance. So, you know, you want to achieve, you want to make more money, you want to just, but for what? What is your end? Just to do that? What is the goal? What is the collective goal? What are we doing? How about we clean up what we did? How about we clean up the mess with the plastics and the pollution? Mm -hmm. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Um, no, I think there's, I think you would, you, there, you can make some arguments that it does happen in other species. There's certain, like, a what is it, the lionfish or whatever that kind of just, just takes over an ecosystem. So let's just, you know, be a little fair. It does happen in nature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Drew, what are you what are you doing for fun then, or uh, to pass the time? I mean, right now I'm just 
right now it's not fun. Right now I'm, I'm, I mean, my life doesn't really change. I get up in the morning, I work out, I take a walk, I see if there's any surf, um, and, uh, you know, I'll go take photos, and I'm really just, I'm just really staying locked down most of the time and trying to just stay vigilant. I don't want to get sick, I, and I don't want other people to get sick. And it's really, it's, my message is really positive. I'm not really, you know, I'm not. No, you are, you're good. I just want everybody to be safe. Of because course. we're all connected in this, you know? We're all connected. We're all in this fight. You, you're, you know, you're right. And you have legitimate concerns and fears. So I think we all are, are uh, experiencing and waking up to. Listen, there's six ICU beds out here in Southampton. Okay, six. 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 That's crazy. I know that just died three days, two days ago, was 60 years old, no health, no underlying conditions. Went to the hospital on the fourth day with with a fever. Was in an oxygenated room because they didn't have a ventilator. She was seventh on the list for a ventilator. Now this is not here. This is somewhere else. But waiting for a ventilator, died the next day. That's now, rough. That's for real. That's not like, and unfortunately, it seems like, like, cause now it's, it, when that happened, it got really real for me. Yeah. And it's like there's some people hanging out, surfing, having a fun time, but maybe if they knew someone that went through that, maybe they would change their minds about what they're doing. Well, this is a start. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, the local, the local people out here have been amazing. Yeah. Responsible, they're commutative. They're, they're, they're acting responsible. Like I said, when they surf, they know each other. They know who's sick, who's not. They keep their distance. They're not surfing a ditch. And it seems like a lot of people that are surfing there are people that are from the city. I mean, listen, a friend of mine who's a surf shop out here told me he sold out of five mil wetsuits, and that's never happened. <laughs> so um, I got to cut this short now, but I want to ask before we go um, – What's going to be the first surfboard you take out when you are when we are able to go back and surf? I don't know. It depends on the conditions. We'll see. We'll see. Right now, I don't plan on surfing so much, but we'll see. But um, I just listen. I just want everybody to be safe. I want everybody to act smart. That's it. You know, and be responsible for yeah. their friend, family, and for all of us as a collective. That's really what I want. I'm sorry to sound you know frustrated no. and you know bit, if I sound a bit angry. I do have people close to me that are sick. Um, I just got a text message earlier today that my best friend from home that I know since I'm 14 tested positive. Um, so it's just a lot. It's just a lot. And, um, you know, God forbid my, my parents or anyone gets sick. So I just want everybody to stay safe. Of course. Of course. Well, Drew, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Man, yeah, thank you. Uh, stay safe. Stay home. I will. I am. You too, man. Take care. All right. Be in touch. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay. And that was uh, Drew Blauschild. And um, what do you think? What do you think about uh, Drew's opinion on it? Uh, is he being overly cautious? Um, you know, or does he have a, a real bone to pick here and something that of great concern for all of us to consider? So, uh, we would love to hear from you, by the way. we uh, Please DM us on Instagram or email us at swellseasonsurfradio at gmail.com. Uh, we'd love to hear from you guys on that. And uh, moving forward, we now have Will Scudin. And Will, always a great ambassador for New York surfing and uh, someone who has his finger on the pulse of what's happening everywhere. Um, you know, so we catch up with Will, try to see what's happening in Long Beach and you know, get, get a get a little kind of feel of the different areas and, and how people are coping and how businesses are preparing. And we also discuss a little light at the end of the tunnel, too. So uh, here we are with uh, Mr. Will Scudin, and we'll see you on the other side. You. Hello, and uh, we are here with Mr. Will Scudin. How you doing, Will? Hey, Tyler. How's it going? Doing Good. Well. Good. Thanks for coming on. Uh, so how are you doing, man? How's everyone? How's the family? How, yeah, just, how's everyone doing? Good. I just, I just been.